Winnipeg. A three to nothing lead. Goose and Brown for the stretch. Cat swings. He pops it up right side of the foul ground. Cleveland might have a play. Cleveland reaching and makes the grab just in front. And up against that side wall outside the wing that's dug out. Able to catch the foul pop up. Pitching changes in the playoffs. No decisions. Three innings. Two earned runs. Two hits. No walks. And three strikeouts in a great regular season. Jordan Ebert 0 for 2. Bounces one of the ground right side. Knocked down by Cleveland. Rolls in a foul ground. Flip to first. And Goose and Brown gets there just in time. Smacked that hard inside the first baseline. Cleveland knocked it down, but it trickled in a foul territory. Out of the wet grass. Cleveland stayed with it. And credit Josh Goose and Brown for sprinting over to the bag. He gets the feed. Cleveland flipped that from the ground. And they get Jordan Ebert by his wingnuts. Continue to play strong defense. In the regular season, Josh Goose and Brown, 34 games, all in relief. He was 0-1 with a 1.62 ERA. 44 and one-third innings, 29 hits, 16 walks, 36 strikeouts. Uh, opponents hit just 186 against Josh Goose and Brown in the regular season. Casey Turgeon takes a fastball on the outside corner, 92 miles an hour, and it's nothing in one. Goose and Brown, one of about half a dozen wingnuts relievers with fastballs better than 90 miles an hour. To Winnipeg at the bottom of the seventh inning of game three. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Change up on the outside half. And Goose and Brown gets ahead. One ball and two. Acquired in exchange for fan favorite Brent Dean, who had been the Wingnuts back and catcher each of the last three years. A trade on March 30th with the Lincoln Salt Dogs. 2 2 pitch, and it's on the inside corner. Strike three called. Josh Goose and Brown with a straight change up on the inner half. Strikes out Casey Turner.